Good morning from Medjugorje on this 27th of March 2024. It's another lovely day here in town. Fortunately, the rain has gone and I can take you on a nice walk here through Medjugorje. And you will see when you come to Medjugorje, there are always some presents, grace presents by God from you for you and they call it the school of our lady there are even books written about it and i wish that you can experience that one time as well and again right from where you are watching you know for me this is so amazing so beautiful I love traveling and to know from different countries so for me this is just exciting I'm happy like a child to hear the different places you know Malaysia for example I'm greeting Malaysia the viewers in Malaysia are the fewer Passing the school of Medjugorje. Nice to see you! have Saint James Church over there. It's a peaceful, quiet moment and morning. And let's see what's going on at the Chapel of Life here in Medjugorje. start our day with a Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, 
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And let's pray that the Holy Spirit is going to reveal to all of us, step by step, how to grow, how to heal, you know, from anxieties, from wounds, from wrong, wrong habits. But we just have to ask, you know, Jesus, Holy Spirit, come into life, my life, guide me, reveal to me the way I need to go. And you will see incredible things, but you have to open up and you have to know that the experience that God the Father is a good Father. And if you hadn't had this experience with your proper Father, you pray, God the Father, reveal to me your unconditional love. You know, we said it so often in the interviews, God the Father is pure selfless love. And if you haven't experienced that in your life, ask him like I did, and I promise you, he will, be, he will reveal himself to you. And that this, in the journey, you will trust more and more than in this gift of Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Because you made the experience that God the Father is good, maybe not like your biological father, yeah? But if you hadn't had this experience, then ask God the Father. Or you have had a bad mother, ask Our Lady how to be a good mother, or how to be a woman who is stable, fulfilled, you know, healed inside. Our mother is a mother, our Heavenly Mother, and she wants to help you in your womanhood, in your motherhood. But you have to ask, yeah? And the Holy Spirit, He will guide you, He will help you as well. God gave us everything. We have everything in our Catholic faith. We have the fullness. We have confession. You can go and talk to a priest. And if you haven't had a good priest in confession, pray for a good priest that he comes into your life and pray for a good confession. And you will see, have this personal encounter with God, this talking, what is prayer? It sounds so old, you know, old fashioned prayer. It's a personal relationship. You talk to Jesus in your heart, like a friend who is close to you and you ask him for help or you share your sorrows, you also your, your joys with him. Yeah. And I wish you that you grow and you have this relationship and you grow in that relationship and then you can say, Jesus, I surrender everything to, thing to you. You take care of everything. Jesus, I surrender everything to you. You take care of everything. Jesus, I surrender everything to you, myself to you. You take care of everything. Yeah, and you can ask that through Our Lady to Jesus. Or directly you say like Sister Faustina, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. And don't despair, you know. I went for years to confession with the same thing and the same thing. And God revealed through the Holy Spirit what it is, where it came from. And you ask that the wounds of the childhood are healed. A wrong word by your mother about a subject or some, uh, a wrong compartment by, by your father. They are not perfect like you know yourself you are not perfect. So that makes it maybe easier to forgive, you know. And the first step is from the heart, first from the mind to forgive and then from the heart to forgive. And if you can't forgive yet, you ask Jesus or God or Father, I can't forgive, Jesus forgive for me. I'm a human being, I'm too wounded at the moment, I don't know how to do. And God loves frank, honest conversations, yeah? And so we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let's continue our tour. That's the old church of Medjugorje here. We have the crown stone still, the martyrs, the Franciscan martyrs during communism. It's a statue for them to remember them.
This is the end of the German mess. There are, I don't know, around 2,000 Austrians in town. That's why you see so many people there. 10 o'clock is the English mass. And I take you a little bit longer around. Eins, zwei, drei. Oh, that was a joke, of course. The girl is learning German, and I said eins, zwei, drei. But she was in the hurry to go to the church. So I take you a bit further on the main road here in Montreuil that you get an impression of what's going on in the morning after the rain. Oh, the water is finished, as you can see. We can properly walk down the road. Nice to meet you. And we are slowly coming to the end of the morning tour. If you like the video again, subscribe to the channel, share the videos on social media and with your friends and give a like. And again, please write from where you're watching. I am excited like a child to hear the different countries and also write your prayer requests and intentions. I'm happy to intercede for you here in Medjugorje. Hit the bell pass button for notification of new videos. And we turn around here, back to the church. And you see a little wind is coming up. But still people are enjoying the terrace. As it's quite warm, not so chilly, even with the wind. And here we are back at St. James Church. wish you a joyful day wherever you are around the world, a joyful, peaceful day and a happy holy week. Here we are back at St. James Church.